In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to take screenshots on Microsoft Teams. Sharing screenshots can often be the fastest way to convey what you're seeing to your team members, especially when troubleshooting or demonstrating something specific. Whether you are new to Teams or looking for a quick refresher, this guide will walk you through the process smoothly and efficiently. To start, you'll need to navigate to the Microsoft Teams website. Once there, look for the sign in button and click on it. You'll be prompted to enter your account credentials, so go ahead and log in using your Microsoft Teams account details. This is the first step to accessing your Teams dashboard and the various features it offers. After successfully signing in, your next move is to go to the chat section. You might be part of many teams and conversations, but for today's purpose, we are focusing on capturing content from chats. The chat feature is where you'll find all your individual and group conversations, making it easy to communicate with your colleagues. Now, navigate through your chat list and click on the specific chat where you want to take a screenshot. It could be a particular message, an image, or any content shared within the chat that you wish to capture. Here comes the crucial part, taking the actual screenshot. Most keyboards come with a print screen key, often abbreviated as Pjertsen or a PUTC. When you're ready to take your screenshot, simply press this key. Uh, what this does is capture an image of your entire screen. Next, you'll want to paste this image. You can do this by clicking inside the chat text box where you type your messages and pressing Ctrl plus V if you're on a Windows machine or Command plus V if you're using a Mac. This pastes the screenshot right into your chat. Finally, to send the screenshot to your chat, just click on the Send button, usually represented by an arrow or a paper plane icon next to the message box. And there you have it. You've successfully shared your screenshot with your team member or colleague. But wait, there's a little pro tip before we wrap up. If your needs require a bit more precision than capturing your entire screen, Windows has a built-in tool called the Snipping Tool. This handy feature allows you to select specific areas of your screen to capture, offering more control over your screenshots. It can be especially useful when you need to share only a part of your screen. And that's all there is to taking and sharing screenshots in Microsoft Teams. With this simple guide, you'll be able to quickly share visuals with your colleagues, making communication clearer and more effective. Remember, whether it's a full screen capture with the print screen key or a specific area with the snipping tool, the idea is to make collaboration and troubleshooting as seamless as possible. Thank you for joining me today and happy screenshotting.